and welcome. <clears throat> this is a very forced and not very organic intro. Where it's been two seconds. This is it. A trip to Clockworks Lair. Yes. It's been two seconds since I ended recording. Literally. We're on our way to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. Mm -hmm. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks yep. very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? Hmm. Sly Cooper in Cold Heart of Hate. The Cold Heart of Hate. Telephone, you got it. Oh god. The road to Clockworks Fortress is blocked. Do me a favor, shoot out that lock for me, would you, pal? Okay. Check out all those mines. Then you can pull them away and clear a safe path for us. Let's see if I can do all this the first try. I don't know. Let me just double check. There's no other trophies. There's five left. One of them is platinum, so there's four left. Yeah, this image is not showing up bothers me, but. Open all the vault, uh, the vaults in Fire in the Sky. Can't yet, but will. Foil Clockwork's plan. Yep. Defeat Clockwork. Yep. And I think the last one's Steal a Kiss. Yeah, so we're on track to platinuming this. Voice mod is opening. Voice mod is open. Also, I think... I Going through my scenes, I forgot we had this, and it might be very useful... I might just pause while I figure this out. We're back. We have captions and we have a telephone voice mod on. Ah, uh, because I expected it to be worse, so I set up captions and everything. Oh yes, we have rewind, so we should be fine either way. If I really fuck this up, we can just rewind. And I'm not, I'm not above it. I'm not above it. Also, I didn't even check the time. Five minutes starting now, I guess. Yeah. Come on. They're hard to shoot. Like rocks. Rocks! Let's say, who do, how do you mean we, but you are actually here? Okay. That's up! The Robo Falcons are back! Okay. Uh. Okay, no. Break those first. Break those first. Mines aren't going anywhere. This reminds me, I finished Ratchet Clank Rift Apart, and I may have used infinite health and ammo to I mean, whatever gets through as long as you enjoyed it. And I hope you did enjoy it. And you would have gotten to use the Rhino a lot more if you did use infinite ammo, because the thing only has like two shots, like four, but still. to make it all the way through. Did you see all the, uh, I guess you wouldn't have because you can only see more and more references as you level it up. But, uh, there was like a, there's a lot of re references in that weapon. Okay, this is gonna suck. What's happening with the shadows? It would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Yeah, won't be a problem. I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall to the ground. Then, Murray will have to run over them with Remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries
tries to keep you from those computers. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you. But if I don't yeah. do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. Yeah, well. But if you're determined what to are we gonna do? with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude. A spire jump here, Dude. a rail slide there. I've done this a million times. All right, that has been five minutes. Thank you so very much, Jareen. Let's put my voice back to normal. Let's get rid of the captions, I guess. And the speech bubble. There we go. The captions are mostly there if we get a really bad voice mod that you can't really hear anything on me. Or understand anything on me, rather. Right, let's do this. Platforming challenges that I can do. Just because I wanted to be cool and try and skip one jump. Every time I try to be cool. Every single time. With sends? I mean, the CC can be very wrong a lot of the time. I'll accept death here. No, actually, I won't. Fuck it. I'm just being impatient, but I'm not wasting that much time. This is 
a really hard area to get out of. Shut up, shut up, and shut up. Hi, Carmelita. I bet this isn't a trap. Sly Cooper. I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue. You think I have this much money? <laughs> <laughs> you sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. Well, I knew this was a trap. Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking. hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. Cheese. And Bentley comes through. Haven't had to do this in a while. Okay, I use the left analog stick to steer and the right analog stick to. This is how hacking works, right? I'm sure this is what Oni does at work. This is what IT looks like. Level three! Level four! Shit. Yes, Bentley has a health bar and I'm wasting it now. Careful. Oh, come on. Give me it. This is better than South Park's version of hacking. Ah, I don't know that one. At least I don't think I know that one. I played the Stick of Truth, but that was a long time ago and only once. Right, clear the board. Clear the board. It's in your best interest to clear the board. Best thing is to get hit by. Sly hasn't died yet. Sly, I was wrong about you. Thank you. Break me out of this force field by smashing its base, and I'll make it up to you somehow. They left you with your gun in there, though. If your gun can do that, why couldn't it do it from the inside? Huh. Either way, a temporary truce. Get it, Cooper. I've hunted you for years, tried to throw you behind bars, but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage, you set me free. Why? Mm, Carmelita, we may be on opposite. You're high! You're not my enemy. Now, the homicidal robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's on my list. I see your point. All right. Until Clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed, I suggest we work together. Together at last. Hmm. Oh, nice shot. Huh, wait, I need that cane. It's been in my family for generations. Don't worry. And I'm defenseless without it. I'll cover you while you get it back. If you can, make your way to the top of the death ring. I stashed my jetpack I feel like... before Clockwork nabbed me. Now that we're a team and all, I need to leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat Clockwork, I'm coming after you. Really? Well, maybe I'll give you a 10 second head start. Yeah. I feel like if I was playing Sly here, I could get through this without getting hit. God, they move so fast. This is gonna take. You know what? 
I can get through that without... That's going to take a lot of rewinds. I don't like this level, and I don't mind re rewinding. Currently, this voice acting sounds phoned in. This was the first game. Like, this is their second... This is Sucker Punch's second ever game, to be fair. And Carmelita's voice actor is different in all four games, so... Where is it going to come from next? Come on! There we go. Are you gonna come from up there? Oh, I gotta break. Yeah, there we go. It looks like I wouldn't have needed to rewind, because he, he didn't get hit a second time, aside from after I rewinded it again with the same enemy, so... Where's Carmelita's jetpack? Right where she said it would be! She has a jetpack. The magnetronic support field for the death ray got destroyed as you were making a run for your cane! You'd better hurry, this whole thing is about to fall apart! I'm on it. Mm -hmm. I'm controlling this. Now I am. No, I'm not. Now I am. It's sinking fast! Climb, slide, climb! Working on it. I can maybe jump over it, but I didn't want to try with this angle. You got it! Okay. accept it. Even though I shouldn't. Death Ray Destruction. A strange reunion. Alright, that's gonna take a minute. Was you in the background of all those old pictures and mysterious raccoons? How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a <sighs> shame of jealousy and hate. Oh, Sounds tasty. Do you have any cheat days? Slide! My missiles don't hurt him but seem to create holes in his armor. Shoot into the gaps I create! Also missed opportunity. Clockwork was not in Thieves in Time either. For all the ancestors you met. I think he was as a cameo. I don't remember. Like, you can maybe find him. My skills are superior. 
Stop shooting your butt! Down you go. Get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the devious raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world that without your precious book, the Cooper line was nothing. Ah, well, sure. that's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, slide. But I did use it to get here, so. It ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father. And the cover line will be erased, and the only monster thief will be clockwork. Are you a thief? Ms. Ruby is still the hardest boss in this game. You cannot escape me. Down you go again. Just like water. I am too. Flowers. Flowers. They sound nice. Oh god no. Mistake! Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Feet together. Eternal enemy. That's the game done. It took some tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece. And of we got the stolen, stolen kiss. Thanks for that clock. trophy. Oh no, he did. I've taken down each member of the fiendish five: Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, did it. and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one <sighs> and reclaimed my birthright. Of course. There was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I, I think I still have the emote here buddy. for this. Stuck with me One of our all. first emotes we ever made was a... Murray. Boy, it yeah, took a that lot of right there. Get out in the field with Sly 2 version of that emote. I, know he was scared. I literally like redrew it to be like Sly 2 Murray. And thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop. I don't Paris. think I have the version without the coins, I no. I couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Looks and I was like gonna make Gasp anymore. that, but now I didn't. Clockwork's death ray is out of commission. We're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was gonna slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two. One. He kissed me. So that's what he's into. I felt bad leaving her stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. Jokes on you, Sly, I bet she is too. Well. Anyway, yeah, Sucker Punch Productions, Chris Zimmerman. All these names, not in alphabetical order. Is this in reverse alphabetical order? It is, isn't it? By last name, M, 
L, K, wow, that's kind of funny. Insomniac do alphabetical, Sucker Punch do reverse alphabetical. Huh. That's a small voice cast, but PS2. Pure illusion. Brady Hunt and Ryuichi, which was the name of one of the ancestors, Hasegawa. Oh, I love this game, warts and all. I love Sly 2 and 3 even more, but wouldn't be there without this one. Still has all of its charms intact. I think emulating it might look a little better than this, but still. I would choose this over the HD remasters because I am nostalgia driven. I always thought it was weird that it's red, but I guess it's red and yellow from the lava. Gotta get that use of that animation again. I hate to tell you this, Sly, but the Phoebeus Raccoon is There is Murray. You're gonna have to go back. You weren't here this whole time. To find the pages you're missing. No. There is some good news, though. A friend of mine in Japan yes. sent me this really cool movie. And guess what? It's all about us. It's the first cutscene again in Japanese. <laughs> ま、だが、そこには必ず守らなければいけない厳しい掟があった。俺様の全てを奪い上がった。きっと中に隠れた技を使って悪いことを知れかすに違いねえ。そして俺様一人ぼっち、町の そして伝承を取り返す。クープパーの名前に恥じない貴族になれるか。それとも失敗して5000の顔に泥を塗るのか。さあ、俺様たちの運命はどっちだ。うん。Alright, so I we still have some time left in the recording. We're only half an hour in. We only have one one thing left to do. Two basically. Which is to just do this level again to get the... No, not this one. Not this level. There we go. To do this level again to get the safe and then do it again with the Master Thief challenge to get the last page. To get the... Just to get everything done, I guess. Fit! And to get that last cutscene. There's one more cutscene to get. Alright, so let's just do all this level again. Uh, wish I could skip this. Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. We don't know that. You're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. Rude. I'm proud to be a thief. Especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. 
Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. Alright. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, there's a horseshoe. And there's another horseshoe. I nearly got hit. Uh, so let's power through this level. We have everything else. All we have to do is just get through it. That's what fast is for. We should use it for this. Yep. <laughs> Learning how to jump properly like this is a little weird. to crab claw the controller like this, but... Alright. <laughs> mm -hmm. So here, I... Wait. Let's get it going first. Yeah, I thought you would. Let's do it. Multiple blood vessels burst in my brain while Well, I'm I was fast forwarding to go faster. Two, three, one. Two, three, one. Safe cracker. We've gotten all the safes, and now we can stop time. Cooper Pride, we did it! Don't even have to do all the Master Thief runs, wow. We got the platinum, though. Can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. Oh, taking us At out for the cutscene. Last, the Thievius Raccoonus restored to its original state. The first time I held the whole thing under my arm since I was eight years old. The same weight that all my ancestors had felt beneath their arms as they had passed it on, although. While other family members may have been great thieves, they all inherited the book. I got a chance to earn it. I had taken down the Fiendish Five, having used the moves my ancestors taught me, and become a master thief along the way. The time had come for me to chronicle my own adventures into the great book. Oh, this is making me want to start up Sly 2 right away, but no. I will wait. If it gets released for PS5, playing it. Absolutely playing it. I hope it does. <laughs> I absolutely would. Same credits again. You've done it, Sly. The Thievius Raccoonus is complete. No, I want to. I want to. Beating all the Master Thief sprints to unlock the desired yes. commentary. Yes. Ideally, that. You've unlocked them all. I've got a special behind-the-scenes movie to show you. Which, as far as I know. The behind-the-scenes movie isn't available in this port for some reason. I'm not sure why. Some people are speculating licensing issues with whatever music they might have used. I don't know. All right, last bit. Yep. I can't change. There we go. There. Wasted seconds there. Okay. <laughs> Right, let's do it. All right. Mm -hmm. No, 
Whoa. No. Right, two minutes from now, we got this. Seconds. Mm -hmm. yeah, bap, 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 bap. Dealt with. With a little time to spare. all the master thief sprints done excellent sly you've beaten all the master thief sprints and unlocked all the designers commentary check out this fascinating behind the scenes movie oh it does play it let's see <laughs> how should i describe sly cooper cunning suave i want to turn this up Charismatic, suave, debonair, cool, slick, fast, stealthy, athletic, just a daredevil. Sly Cooper is charming thievery. Hmm. <laughs> we started with the idea that we wanted to do an action game where the the primary character was a thief. The I love seeing pretty natural fit how games of, develop you know obviously the, the mask being in place um being uh as dev would say a creature of the night we very early on wanted to make a game that looked and felt like a cartoon but was st one step closer to realism rather than flattened graphic we started experimenting with different ways we could bring this character to life uh cell shading how to make it feel like a cartoon but still feel like a great 3d game we want it to actually look like it was. Impacted. I think they did a good job. And we want the backgrounds to be, you know, really lush and have a painted, a painted look. So it looks like it's a, a living animated episode that you've been thrown into. When you look at the game initially, the first thing that draws you in is the Your beautiful style hunt. and lush, very, very. You lush had a special thanks. Look of the environments, but when you actually play the game, uh, that's the different. Game itself is lush as well. They they had somewhat different designs and noises too, and so was that. The original conception of uh, the Sly character uh, was a much more realistic raccoon, chubby and not quite as lithe as the character is now, and it kind of uh, evolved as we went along. Once we got to that part where he kind of evolved into what he is now, um, my main job was to take him and try to put every bit of thiefiness into him that I could. He's kind of tiptoeing and he's really like rearing back to like ease his foot forward, trying to keep all his weight back so his foot falls softly on the ground. And the hat have some to hone his personality through movement for that at first? Movement and really try to push the thiefiness. As we wanted Sly to feel really agile, we wanted him to feel like Sly could do. Uh, the most amazing physical feats. Oh, had a little twirl back then. The legs went around. You want to let the player of the game feel like they're a thief. Not like a real thief. Like you wish thieves were. A romanticized thief. 
Sly Cooper's story is really cool. He comes from a long line of super raccoon thieves and the source of their kind of- Nate Fox is still kind of the face for most events for Sucker Punch to this day. Incredibly valuable heirloom that is stolen from Sly's family when he's very young. He has come of age and now he feels it's his noble duty to take back the Thievius Raccoonus. Sly has two buddies, Bentley and Murray. Bentley provides a lot of the plans for their missions. He does a lot of things that are very important for Sly to complete his missions. Murray has a huge case of... of <laughs> Look at those fingers. I love him. Sly in the worst possible way, and he has absolutely none of the capabilities to do it. He will be the Murray in no time. His villains. We wanted to create villains, you know, making them dangerous, making them menacing, making them goofy. Just giving them as much personality as, as Sly Cooper. It is very cartoony. It's a super high bar um, being in the action adventure category. I mean, all of the greatest games, the best games that are out there are all action adventures. The genre mm -hmm. is such yeah. that you have to really excel in every single phase of the game. Going from saying Sly should be sneaky to actually having him feel sneaky in the game is hard. You have to start and you have to get the animation right, then you have to figure out how the engine's going to play the animation and how it gets affected by where he is and what he's doing and how the player can feel in control at the same time. People are doing shoot 'em ups and, and things with, you know, big weapons and things like that. And this had Ratchet. This is all about Jack. character. So you can like, get the feeling of you know, I am sly and I'm I'm sneaking around. Anytime we can exploit anything in the environment, build it in a way that, you know, as Sly's running over it might seem more stealthy, we completely exploit that. And our goal yeah. is whatever is thiefier wins. If you want to make a game looks different. The I don't know how long this is, but as a they have the time. It has a ton of tools for doing for solving. And I love hearing about this kind of stuff. Technical problems. A big focus for us um, has been in getting our tool set to the point where the artists were really unconstrained. Artists will come to us with they want the game to look this way, or boy, can we have a line around all the characters? Um, the yeah, the outlines. Do, or how can we do the lighting models so that things that are bright have certain colors on them? And they have a, a lot of really cool ideas, and uh, I and the other people on the programming team work on trying to get the technology put in place so that um, so that we can you know make those ideas happen. I've seen some people say that in the HD remaster, the outlines are kind of muted in a comparison. So are the lights actually. Cell borders that we put around all our characters. We could get it and the shadows super fast and have it all look different than other games. That was really our goal from the start: was to have a game which looked different. It's been an interesting process building a team to build a game like this. It's been great working with such a dedicated group of people. I've, I've never really ever worked with a group I think is as hardcore as this. It really does require unbelievably talented artists, unbelievably talented. I mean, I would say Sucker Punch's like game history is pretty consistent. I am biased though. I love all their games. There's a new thief in town wonderful job of giving players the experience of sneaking and being a thief and at the same time making the designs accessible to people so that you don't need to be a super gamer in order to play it, although there are tons of things that are in the game for those people. We're making a game that anyone can play. You can't just have great art, you can't just have great code, you can't yeah, just have great characters, you gotta have it all. It's not about just how the game looks, it's about how the game plays and how how the player experiences it. And it's all about having fun. You can make a really cool character, but I he's did not have fun. fun. He's not worth doing. Sly is cool. God, the coins had a different noise as well. Sly is Sly. It is not a misnomer. Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. A different logo back then. That's it. All right. I think it's like slide two or three where they show some more in depth of how the game used to look. It had different gameplay mechanics, like um, like you had like a spray thing, and you actually collected like dollars, like paper money. All right. So there is a scene missing. Mm. 
going to pause and find out. Alright, so... That last video there should be the anime ending that you get for getting all the... Thievius Raccoonus pages. But it's just not there. So I might look it up on YouTube and just show that because we unlocked it. It's just not here. All right, we're back. I have to go to YouTube for this. So it's from uh, the person who uploaded it is Koteshi, thankfully. So we've, we've seen the first bit already. And apparently there's another one, which I've never seen. What are they up? Just to make sure this is being viewable. It is. And also a little loud. Uh, it's a little... Mm. I'll, I'll do this on screen one second. There we go. Turn it down a smidge. Little fuzzy, but... ルビー、パンダキング、そしてクロックベルク戦いは楽じゃなかったが、やっと秘伝書が本来の持ち主の手に戻ってきたってわけだな。so, I remember watching this on my PS2 version. ふたりとも大変だったろう。本当に感謝してるよ。え、マーレ、初めのうちは無理して強がってたくせに、なんだかいつの間にか結構いい根性を見せるようになっちまったもんな。そしてベントレ、彼の頭脳とナビゲーション
Bye.